How to use FlexClip. FlexClip full tutorial. Good day folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use FlexClip and FlexClip is an amazing piece of online software where you can edit your videos. They've got tons of cool features so let us jump straight in. First of all this is your home page so you want to go over to FlexClip.com and you want to sign up for an account you can do so by using just an email address so on the left hand side over here you can see that there is a basic toolbar such as home which is where we're on now this will basically give you an overview of all of your own projects as well as some of the templates that they offer you over here then on the left hand side you can see just your projects you can see your templates that you have created yourself and then if you've favorited anything you can see them right over here in the favorites tab and then of course you have a cloud storage option over here you get 100 gig of cloud storage and that's great then you can also import fonts so if you've created fonts you can go ahead and you can import them right over here and you can make your videos unique so let us get into the reason we are here going into creating a video so on the top left hand side you will see there is a create video and as you can see over here there are a bunch of options such as the 16 9 aspect ratio 9 16 a 1 1 which is a square a 4 5 and then a 21 9 which is normally not included in other video editors over here you can see that there is also a timeline mode and a storyboard mode right now if you click on storyboard mode it says the storyboard mode will no longer be maintained and that is fine for now what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the timeline mode and we're going to tap on get started so basically in this editor what you're going to be seeing over here on the left hand side is your toolbar and this is basically where you control everything about your video so the first thing you want to do over here is on the left hand side we want to start creating a video so you can either start by using a template as you can see there is a templates tab and right over here there is all the templates that we saw on the first page the second thing that you can do here in actual fact is go into the search bar and you can actually search for a specific template so for example you want to go ahead and say YouTube and you can just hit enter and now they will give you a few templates with their keyword in mind as you can see here you can choose from any one of these templates so let's go ahead there is this one over here and it says that it has 13 pages so you can either apply all 13 pages just by tapping on this button over here or you can go ahead and you can add the individual pages one by one so you can choose through them and you can add them individually I'm just gonna go ahead and apply all 13 and it says choose the way to apply the template and now you can replace all your scenes or you can add it to the end of the scene now the reason it's asking this is because when you create a project as you can see on the bottom over here this is your timeline and this is where your video scenes will come up there is an already one five second video clip that is there and this is what it looks like it is just a blank screen so it is somewhat used as a placeholder however if we want to remove it we can just go ahead and say replace all scenes that means it's going to remove the scene that is already in there and then there is also a replace the background music and that means it's going to replace whatever music is already in your clip and it's going to replace it with the music in the template if there is music in the template that you've chosen so here we go now it's loading and as you can see on the bottom over here it has loaded every scene and just underneath the scene you can see that there is in fact audio so it has now replaced the background audio that we have had on our timeline so we can go now and we can just tap on the fit to full screen and as you can see here it will now use this entire area so you can either use that or you can leave it as is there is a zoom option on the bottom right hand side some of the other things now that you can do is once you are tapping on each individual scene you will now be able to see it over here so as you can see this is an image and it will play for a duration of three seconds you can now tap in any one of those and it says you can replace the media of course you would like to replace the media with your own media and once you have done so at the top over here there are some options such as filters uh, you can also adjust your image you can flip crop 
uh, you can also change the opacity you can give it motion animation and then you can remove the background altogether so you can do that with all of these clips over here and then if you're having a look uh, this is pretty much the same this is now a clip with a background image you can replace that media and then you can see as you hover your cursor over the text you can actually click on that text it is grouped and it comes up now on the timeline and you can edit that text so you can change the size you can change the font style you can change everything else it is that you'd like to on the left hand side over here you can see that there is a media tab now basically what you can do here is you can upload media so if you'll go into local files you'll be able to upload from your device from a drive and then on the right hand side there is a my recordings tab now this is a nice feature because you can record voice now a lot of video editors do have this option and it is great because you can record while you are editing one of the extra options that I see here that is amazing is a screen recording or a webcam so once you tap on that you can now choose whether to only webcam only screen record or if you want to do both of them together you go ahead and tap on next step and it will allow you to start recording your screen or your webcam this is a great option because while you are editing it's an added screen recorder or web recorder Going down now on the left hand side again you can see that there are a few options more such as text there are a few different text styles that you can choose from over here and then you have the subtitles option I think this is awesome so you can either have manual subtitles added you can then upload a file as well and then of course the most powerful tool here is the auto AI subtitle this means when you upload a video or an audio it will automatically generate subtitles using their AI bot. On the left hand side again in the toolbar you will see that there is a video photo audio tab and this is stock footage. Over here this is all royalty free stock footage so you can either search for what it is that you're looking for or you can go through all of these subcategories that are already up over here you can go ahead and you can type in whatever you'd like and you can choose a video that you would like to put into your video you can do the same with photos as you can see here and photos have a nice text to image feature so once you open that you will be able to describe what sort of image you want you can go down now you can choose the style the ratio and then you can generate an image also with the audio you can go ahead you can search for different types of audio you can filter it by mood you can also filter it by genre you can have a look for music as well as sound effects going down now again there is an elements tab and as you can see over here you can put in some shapes there are some social icons there's some gifs there's some stickers masks frames arrows bubbles promo stickers and some business stickers and there are as they say here millions of elements to choose from so all you have to do is search for one over here and you can select the one that you'd like so having a look at the things that you are entering in over here how do you add it to your video so let us say that we want to add it to a scene over here for example we would like to put a social media icon such as this YouTube icon over here it is a moving icon so we're going to click down and we're going to drag it over and as you can see it is now on our video we can then drop it down wherever we'd like to and from here then we can change the size we can also move it around and then we can change its layer form we can also change its distribution we can duplicate it and then just by tapping that delete button we can delete it so i'm going to put that in over there and as you can see it is now come up on our timeline over here at the bottom and what we can do now with this is we can actually click on it and we can move it make it bigger we can make it smaller and that will allow that icon to play for as long as where we put it to going down now to some of the other options on the toolbar on the left hand side you have an overlay and an overlay is great because what you can do is on this video you can overlay one of these effects such as a brush uh, there's some golden overlays there's some additional elements ink film and there are a few 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 more options there's quite a bit for you to choose from going now down to the last item the tools it is actually the ai image generator 
and again you can just enter in some text and you can create some images using their AI bot. Now when it comes to trying to export your video there are a few options we're going to go up to the top right hand side over here and there is an export button so once you tap that export button you will see that there are a few options you have either to export it as a video as a gif or just as a plain audio file so when you're choosing a video file you will see that there are three options in terms of output quality then if you're going over to GIF format, you can see again that there are three formats. And if you're going over to audio, you can now export it as an MP3. Once you've done so, you can tap on export and this will now be saved to your device. If you're having a look for some other options, you can go up into your profile picture on the top right hand side. There is a my account tab. Uh, there is a tutorial tab where you can go ahead and watch some videos and you can find out how to use some of the features on FlexClip a little bit more in depth. There we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content. And we'll see you in another awesome video. Happy video editing. Cheerio.